Namaste. Welcome to tutorial series on process or bioprocess simulation using SuperPro Designer. In the previous tutorial, uh, we understood how to simulate an extraction process attached with a spray dryer. In this tutorial, uh, we will try to simulate uh, a bigger process that is uh, citric acid production process through fermentation. And again, I have taken this case study from the same book which we used in the previous tutorial that is chemical engineering process simulation and chapter number 11. And uh, if you could able to see this, uh, read the complete uh, manuscript, you can understand they have given the complete details on what is this process uh, related to this citric acid production and what is the importance of a super pro designer in uh, uh, simulation, especially techno-economic evaluation. And what are the applications of citric acid? Why we need to understand the citric acid bioproduction? Because it is a widely used chemical. You can notice here citric acid is a commodity organic acid used in food and beverage industry. I, I think millions of tons of citric acid is produced every year. And uh, it is having wide application. You can see starting it from pH adjustment, even it is used as a preservative and uh, in many different applications. And when it comes to citric acid production in initial days, when it was understood citric acid is having a lot of potential, they were isolating it or extracting it from uh, uh, fruit sources. But it is not economical to extract it from fruit sources. Then they understand that fermentation is a potential methodology to uh, produce this citric acid. And uh, to, in the, to, uh, today, I am more like whatever the citric acid we use is like maximum quantity it coming from fermentation process. And also when it comes to a substrate which are used in citric acid bioproduction, there are multiple substrates used, basically the carbohydrate sources, you can see beet and cane molasses, maltose syrup, most of these are the uh, byproducts are kind of like waste generated from most of these industries which uh, handle these carbohydrate sources. And also when it comes to microorganism, uh, till date Aspergillus niger is uh, uh, widely used and it is one of the potential organism to produce the citric acid and it accumulates more quantity of citric acid and also the pH uh, basically plays a very important role in the production of citric acid uh, during the fermentation. The, the if pH variations like other acids like oxalic acid and all will be produced and it creates a problem in a later downstream step. And when it comes to purification, uh, citric acid purification is commonly uh, done by calcium and precipitated as calcium citrate using this calcium hydroxide which reacts with citric acid and forms the calcium uh, uh, citrate and later again it is treated with sulfuric acid and we are going to get uh, the gypsum, the calcium sulfate is one of the byproduct which derived from the citric acid and it's lot of gypsum, gypsum is uh, produced again it is problematic and we cannot able to use much of it. But that is the reason today the focus is shifted towards like other methodology of citric acid purification like solvent extraction, ion exchange adsorption, membrane filtration and electrodialysis. Um, and uh, in this case, especially cit uh, the citric acid production via fermentation using Aspergillus niger, niger is simulated. And when it comes to a process description, it says that uh, almost 139.8 metric tons of molasses per batch is used and almost 54.8 metric tons of dehydrated citric acid crystals of high purity that is almost 99.5% uh, purity citric acid is produced. And it is given here the uh, process flow sheet is given and this complete process is divided into two section. Uh, the first section is fermentation section and then the next is isolation section or basically a purification section. For a simplified process, they have not included the inoculum development here. But directly it is like a, a, the inoculum is directly charged. The inoculum preparation has been not done. Uh, during the fermentation itself is like that has been initiated. And uh, uh, you can notice the pure components required for the process. Uh, that is glucose is required. That is the uh, basic uh, molecule which is uh, used as a substrate for citric acid production. And here the molasses is used. The molasses is again a stock mixture. We need to register molasses as a stock mixture. And they assume that molasses is made up of this glucose uh, NFS that is non-fermentable uh, sugars and also um, uh, the impurities which is like metals or metal uh, ions and all is present as an impurities. And also uh, the water is a one more component. So these are the four components uh, that which the molasses is made up of. 
and again a few more stock mixtures were used for example sulfuric acid which is used in the downstream step again lime which is used in the downstream step and NaOH um, that is one molar NaOH which is used both in upstream as well as downstream step and also as a supplement ammonium sulfate is as used as a nitrogen source some of the salts which are uh, defined as a nutrients were also used in, in the process and uh, citric acid crystals uh, in the later stages in the downstream uh, process this citric acid is crystallized to citric acid crystals and uh, like uh, sodium hydroxide used in this table it is clearly defined so what is the composition of each stock mixture and uh, uh, during the level once we start the simulation i will give you what are the pure components that need to be used and uh, here they have clearly defined the uh, like fermentation and isolation section so and uh, when it comes to fermentation section uh, like uh, the initially the 50% molasses they assumed that is having 50% molasses it has been scaled down to like 20% molasses because high concentration is not good so they have reduced to 20% using some advanced features and uh, almost initially 100 metric tons of uh, uh, water is charged then further molasses is added then further it is diluted and uh, yes it is sent to filtration you need to remove the impurities and uh, further it has been stored and it has been sent to ion exchange chromatography column where again these impurities are removed so basically well, the feed coming from this uh, chromatography system is containing glucose non fermentable sugars and water so impurities are completely removed so uh, once this is done the further it is uh, uh, sterilized and it is sent to the fermenter and also as i told the supplements like ammoni ammonium uh, sulfate and the other salts are also new, uh, like kind of uh, uh, sterilized and sent into the fermenter fermenter stoichiometric equation is given like uh, it is carried out by using this particular equation and also the extent of reaction is assumed 99% carried out for 5 days uh, the temperature maintained was 35 degree centigrade and it uh, as, as all of us know uh, citric acid production is a aerobic process and uh, air is continuously supplied uh, using a compressor and a filtration the air is sterilized using the filtration system and uh, with the rate of 0.3 bvm that is volume of air uh, per volume of liquid per minute is sent to the system and uh, as the process is exothermic cooling water is used to as a heat transfer agent and uh, it is given the complete scheduling details are given so we will use all these details in the simulation process and further uh, when you notice yes operating schedule for each other uh, uh, almost all the equipment they have given a uh, nice details are given for any beginner also you can easily use these details and you can start simulating it when it comes to isolation section first the lime is added to fermenter uh, fermentation broth and calcium citrate is precipitated uh, further it is treated with sulfuric acid and citric acid is recovered and gypsum is a byproduct is derived and also uh, they, they have given the advanced modeling option so who are like a beginners can watch the tutorial series which are developed in this youtube channel and uh, there are like a lot of advanced features are also used that is the details are given here complete details how to use those advanced features are given here and modeling steps clearly defined and uh, there are advanced other information is also given the cleaning procedures like CIP how to initiate this CIP scheduling so to, this is very important once you simulate it a uh, very important scheduling the whole process this is defined here and there is something called as staggered mode let us understand what is this staggered mode and also uh, like debottlenecking analysis cycle time reduction all these have been clearly defined here uh, how to analyze the process simulation results are given here and also you can notice uh, there are like debottlenecking analysis is performed uh, yes you can understand here the process economics is been detailed are given here yes uh, let us simulate this particular process and understand better the same example is also shipped along with the super pro software you can open the process uh, library where you can find the citric acid application under my biomaterials folder and yes this again a readme file gives you the complete details on this one the whatever i showed this the book chapter or a, this particular chapter is derived from this uh, example so uh, you can also go through the super pro designer file uh, as given along with this super uh, like software as well as this particular uh, uh, book chapter is also giving as a supplementary file the super pro designer file could be downloaded as a supplementary file uh, i'll just show you Yes, this is the file which is uh, given as a supplementary file. 
the complete details are given here you can use this as a reference and you can go through this i have just collected information from this uh, particular file and we will start it from the scratch so how to simulate it and uh, from basics till the advanced i'll try to uh, explain it in multiple videos i suggest all of you to download the copy of super pro and also this particular uh, file and read them go through them before watching this video the first step in simulation is like registering pure components let us go to this task register pure components under this register pure components let us first take out which are all available in the databases ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate is available we will select it biomass biomass which is available we will select it but we will rename this biomass the local name uh, we will uh, rename it as a niger that is aspergillus niger for easy understanding and uh, next one calcium calcium hydroxide which is available uh, we will take it out and uh, carbon dioxide one of the by product in uh, fermentation carbon dioxide we will take it and uh, next one citric acid citric acid it's available glucose is one more ingredient glucose required for fermentation and next one uh, we need sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide and we need sulfuric acid sulfuric acid so these are all available in the uh, database so some of the components which are not available in the database we will start registering them uh, during the crystallization step uh, step we get uh, the citric acid crystals so we need to register citric acid crystal as a new component we will rename it as ca crystals crystals and we will initiate with the properties of citric acid citric acid click okay and uh, next very important component required is uh, calcium citrate which is not again available in the database calcium citrate again we will try to initiate with citric acid properties citric acid properties click okay uh, next very important uh, component is like uh, gypsum again it is a byproduct in the ferment like in the uh, purification step gypsum and you can change the uh, local name as calcium sulfate okay uh, next one uh, we need impurities again it is registered as a new compound impurities just we'll go with water properties next very important component is non fermentable sugars non fermentable sugars we will rename it as nfs in the local name we go with default water properties okay so uh, i think almost all the components required for the simulation pure components have been registered click okay next let us go to task and register stock mixtures register stock mixture so the stock mixture required the first very important thing is molasses obviously it is not available in the database we go and register uh, molasses as a new component and we initial, initialize to zero and uh, let us uh, edit them the composition we know the molasses uh, consists of glucose and uh, non fermentable sugars uh, impurities and water so these are the components of molasses let us change the composition that is it contains 50% 50% glucose uh, 1% impurity non fermentable sugar 20% and water is 29% so uh, you can add this all the information and register molasses as a pure component and we need to register lime lime that is uh, lime 33% lime is required 33% lime is required so we will edit the properties we go to composition that is uh, calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and water so this calcium hydroxide is 33% water is 77 sorry 67% so it is uh, registered and we can notice we notice that in the manuscript it is given uh, like uh, sulfuric acid is used that is sulfuric acid 10% uh, sulfuric acid is used so the 10% sulfuric acid which is already available in the database you can notice here 10 weight percent sulfuric acid is available we will register it and also uh, sodium hydroxide one molar sodium hydroxide again that is also available in the database you can notice here one molar sodium hydroxide is available we will register it click ok 
so all the required uh, pure components and stock mixtures have been uh, registered now uh, let us uh, develop the process uh, flow sheet so as i already told first i will try to simulate the fermentation section then i will move to the isolation section let us first uh, prepare the uh, fermentation section flow sheet for a beginners it is uh, better to go uh, individual unit operate unit procedure wise if you do the simulation easy it is easy to identify the errors so if you are like an advanced user you can start develop the proce uh, process flow sheet and you can feed all the information and you try to simulate it the first very important unit procedure required in this uh, uh, process is like uh, splitting that is uh, the water is splitted into multiple section uh, here it, they have used something called as three way distribution it is not splitter it is distribution because we are, they, they are based on some criteria you have to distribute the water if it is just a splitting what happens is we split the stream into like some 30 percent 20 percent and 50 percent we just split it but when you have some criteria for example i want some 100 metric ton water need to be transferred and in other case i want to draw this uh, some water from this stream to dilute it in that cases when you want to set some advanced features we go with this three way distribution or like if you have multiple uh, uh, like uh, ways you can just use it for example here by default only three way and uh, five way and uh, ten way distribution is available if you, you no need to bother for example if i have some seven uh, streams are there then you can use the 10 way distribution and connect the seven streams so here in this case three way distribution is available i'll just select it and place it here select it and place it here uh, next very important thing is mixing tank because we need to dilute the 50 percent molasses to 20 percent molasses so we need a, a mixing tank go to storage bulk batch and i select a blending tank blending tank so I'll, I'll take this i'll keep it here and once this is blended we need to send the contents into filtration system to remove the impurities so plate and frame filter is selected here so i'll select the plate and frame filter once the it is like filtered I, as the filtration is a continuous process the continuously it filtered again it goes to one more uh, blending tank that is storage tank or blending tank which use one blend one more blending tank here so we place it here one more blending tank and from the blending tank it is continuously sent to a uh, ion exchange column so here in this case the chromatography column that is packed bed chromatography column simplified so this is what used in the simulation we will select that one and uh, next one from this uh, chromatography column continuously uh, the whatever the purified uh, stream is coming again it is uh, sent to one more storage system that is again we use one more blending tank here one more blending tank yes and the contents available in the blending tank is further sterilized using uh, like heat trans heat exchanger we can either go with heat sterilization or pasteurization in this particular process they have used this pasteurization process so we'll select this pasteurization and we place it here so this is basically a uh, glucose uh, stream that is molasses is diluted filter to remove impurities further it is stored it is sent to ion action column to remove further impurities and it is sent to storage tank further it is sterilized it will be sent to a fermenter and here in this uh, one more uh, thing is we need to uh, prepare the other nutrients like for example ammonium sulfate and salts need to be prepared in some concentration for that here they have used this mixing and bulk flow and this flow uh, like mixture preparation uh, unit is used here mixture preparation unit is used here once the contents coming from the mixture preparation unit is further uh, sterilized using uh, uh, heat exchanger that is a pasteurization unit pasteurization unit further these ingredients are sent to a fermenter so that is here the fermenter is chosen select the fermenter we will place the fermenter here and uh, next one the fermentation to the fermentation system continuously the air is sent air is sent through the uh, compressor that is transport near gases centrifugal compressor is used here centrifugal compressor is used to pressurize the air and also air filters are used to do the air sterilization so here you can see the filters for air is available uh, it is used and also the exhaust coming from the fermentation that is fermenter off gas which is coming out of the fermenter is also sterilized so we go to filtration we select the air filter and place it here so any spores are coming out of this could be removed uh, to reduce the hazardous nature of any of these components coming out of the fermentation system so these are all the required unit uh, uh, procedures here 
and from one more thing before uh, like uh, say uh, uh, sending this fermentation broth into the directly into the downstream it is further stored in a continuous storage system you go to this uh, bulk storage bulk continuous and flat bottom uh, equipment like equipment is used so we will place it here so now let us connect the streams and rename the streams so uh, we will connect it from the this is again from the water source this is from the water source and further uh, this water is distributed to this uh, uh, particular uh, blending tank blending tank and also this water one more stream of water is used to dilute the molasses dilute the molasses so i'll connect one more stream and uh, from this again it is distributed or uh, sent to this particular uh, mixture preparation equipment so water is here also water is required it is sent here and also uh, the molasses is charged to this particular stream and further two more streams are required in mixture preparation stream this is for one more for ammonia ammonium sulfate other for nutrients other for nutrients so the contents which are coming from this storage tank once it is diluted it has been sent to this filtration system and uh, the cake is coming out of this particular cake is basically the impurities whatever we remove and whatever the filtrate is coming out of this system is are further connected to this particular storage tank further connected to the storage tank from this again the storage tank the contents are sent to this uh, particular ion exchange chromatography we can rename them the equipments also and uh, here during the process like um, the regeneration buffer is sent continuously the regeneration buffer and also the washing uh, steps are there uh, the washing solution is also sent here and uh, this is where the purified stream is coming which is connected to the storage tank and we need one more stream for uh, waste whichever the wash stream or elution whatever we do that is coming out of this particular stream so once the purified uh, that particular molasses is obtained it is further sent to this uh, uh, heat exchanger from this heat exchanger again it is sent to the fermenter sent to the fermenter so yes from this air is supplied continuously then this is passed through the filter passed through the filter again it is fed to the uh, fermenter continuously the fermenter this is the vent port default vent port this vent port has been connected to this uh, air filtration system the broth coming out of the fermenter is again sent to the storage vessel sent to the storage vessel again whatever the are the constituents which are coming out from this mixture preparation is further sterilized and it has been again sent to the fermenter so this is basically we added all the streams so if you want you can rename this particular uh, streams so let us go uh, go ahead and rename them so i can rename this as water source water source and uh, uh, you can uh, rename blending tank you can rename this as uh, charge charge molasses charge molasses and here uh, you can rename this as water they have renamed it as water 1a uh, for initial condition the then for this is water b uh, water uh, 1b for dilution purpose and uh, we'll rename this as water 2 water 2 so here uh, we'll rename this particular stream as ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate further we name this stream as uh, nutrients or nacl you will rename this as nutrients nutrients uh, basically uh, we need to register again nutrients so we forgot i think we will just go to here uh, we register this particular nutrients click here uh, nutrients and here the nutrients uh, assumed as nacl so nacl is a sodium chloride sodium chloride sodium chloride will register it with the low sodium chloride properties click ok this is what happens when you start working with the simulation sometimes you forget to uh, add some components in between you can definitely add it so i just renamed as nutrients and this is pasteurization this we rename it as air this rename it as air and uh, further this particular uh, stream this we can rename it as waste or it is cake here cake and also this we rename it as regeneration buffer regeneration buffer that is one, one molar nacl is used as regeneration buffer and water is used for washing and uh, yes most of the components we have registered 
you can rename this as off gas off gas click ok so almost all the components were registered and also you can notice here this equipment also could be renamed so you can see here uh, dilution vessel you can rename uh, this also you can rename it as for example edit label you can go to this you can rename it as ion exchange and exchange ion exchange and uh, blending tank you can rename if you want you can rename it as sterilization unit heat sterilization heat or just you can rename it as sterilization sterilization click ok so like this you can rename this if you want to make it little bold you can select this particular stream uh, style is there edit style is there so you can notice the name label is available here so if you want name label uh, could be if you want to make it bold you can select here click ok and it becomes bold you can notice it is been the bold color so i'll just move little here uh, yes you can notice now it is in bold color like this you can uh, make it for all the streams even you can see this equipment names also need to be made it bold you can go to this style edit and uh, you can see the name label uh, if you want to, to make it a bold you can make it uh, bold actually basically this is the description level so we go to this description make it bold click ok yes you can notice it has been highlighted in bold so like this you can edit the complete uh, flow sheet you can add all the uh, uh, you can make all the streams in bold okay so uh, this is basically the flow sheet for fermentation section in the next video uh, let us understand how to initiate the streams and operations and how to perform the simulation thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe